Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. And today we're going to talk a little about babysitting. And more specifically, do you have a right to know who's babysitting your kids? That's a good question. I mean, if you're asking me, is there a Michigan statute that mandates that my ex tell me the identity of the babysitter, I would probably say no, there isn't, okay? But you have to understand one thing. Each parent is presumed to have a certain level of decent judgment as it relates to their kids. The court is going to assume that if you're giving your kids, putting their kids in the hand of a babysitter, that that is a responsible adult or uh, somebody who you know uh, is going to do the right thing, is, is not going to neglect your kids. God forbid there's an emergency, they know to call you and they know to call 911 and they know to do the simple basic things that a babysitter will do. Now, having said that, are you allowed or is there some mandate that you know the identity of the babysitter so that you can judge whether or not he or she is, is uh, you know, qualified to do that job? I would say no. That level of micromanagement you don't get. Now, having said that, should the parties probably get together and talk about it and say, hey, you should be aware that, you know, Jason is going to be babysitting the kids. He's done it before. You remember him or or Cheryl's going to do it or this or that. Or I have a sitter coming from a service, but they're very good reputation and all that. References are impeccable. That's a conversation that people who are handling themselves, conducting themselves like adults should probably have. In other words, if you tell your spouse, I have a sitter, I'm not telling you who it is, uh, screw you and the horse you rode in on. If that's the attitude you're going to take, the only thing that's going to happen is, at that point, they're going to start, you know, the antennas are up. Now their radar is wondering, do we have somebody, is he deliberately, you know, doing this to, to you know, hurt the kids or hurt me? Or is there a suspicion that I need to, you know, consider? Uh, you know, you shouldn't arouse that suspicion. You should probably do things above board. Your lawyer is not going to tell you to, you know, deliberately try to drive your ex crazy. But you have to understand that, you know, uh, filing a motion to have the um, court uh, order the party to disclose the identity of the babysitter, it's not likely the court is going to grant unless there's some reason for the court to believe that the sitter that you're using is either prohibited by prior order of the court or is somehow, you know, a drug addict and an alcoholic and, you know, therefore is not suitable to a sitter. Now, one, uh, I had a client once who had that very issue and really there was no basis at the time for bringing motions before the court to challenge the qualifications of the sitter. So we advise them, hire a private investigator. Person goes out, have a PI go in there and see what's going on. Our boyfriend's coming in, you know, our girlfriend's coming in. Is there a party going on? Is your three-year-old, you know, coming out in the house in the middle of the night and sitting on the front lawn neglected? These are things that a private investigator can give you the information and that'll be enough for you to go to court. If you have any questions, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.